These days, we often hear, this isn't your father's industry anymore, when the topic of vehicle electronics and ADAS comes up. We're going to find out why this phrase could also be used when it comes to welding, next in the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Even welding isn't so simple anymore. Now, before you start the repair, you have to look up the OEM repair procedures to know what type of metals the vehicle has and what type of welding, MIG brazing, spot welding, etc., is recommended. If it's recommended at all, it might be rivets and adhesive. You won't know unless you access those procedures. Let's look at the machine. You could have the latest, greatest welder, but it is only as effective as the person doing the welding. We trust our technicians because of their experience and training, but when was the last time you destructively tested their welds? Trust but verify comes up a lot now too when it comes to ADAS, but it can also apply to the welding you do in your shop. The good news is that a recent survey conducted by Collision Advice indicated that 29% of shops are now being paid to set up and perform destructive weld testing always or most of the time by the eight largest national insurers up from 12% in 2015. But the reality is that whether you're paid or not, you should always destructively test your welds as your customers' lives may depend on it. You're not just testing your tech skills, but whether the welding machine is working properly. We don't need to go on a long dissertation about welder maintenance, do we? Also, when we get that sparkly new toy, the new spot welder, for example, that everyone wants to use, does the manufacturer offer training on that specific machine? Don't just assume your guys will figure it out. Utilize the training that comes with the machine. Because the advanced metals of today, aluminum, high strength steel, ultra high strength steel, and more, are more sensitive to heat, the automakers are recommending welding methods that control that heat. But each OEM has different recommendations. Don't just assume because Honda recommends one welding method that Ford recommends the same. In some cases, they may recommend weld bonding or adhesive bonding. That is why you can't just grab the nearest welder and go anymore. You have to have a plan before you repair. A repair blueprint that covers everything, including the welding. Keep in mind too, that the OEM recommendations change often. Sensitive electronics have changed the game too now, as it relates to how and where you weld a vehicle. The OEM is the authority now. They may even require a specific welding machine because of the capabilities it has, especially if you're pursuing OEM certification. If you doubt that the OEM is the authority, two words come to mind, John Eagle. The welding machines of today have gotten more technologically advanced and smarter. Individual techs can program in their own personal settings now, if you have more than one tech who will be using the welder. That may give you a false sense of security that all is well, but training is still important. The collision industry is no longer your father's or your grandfather's industry, and that goes for all facets of collision repair. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.